Welcome to the 2006 United States Disc Golf Championship in beautiful Rock Hill, South Carolina. This is Between the Ropes, and I'm your host, Billy Crump. We'll be bringing the championship to you this week from a player's view, so sit back and enjoy. Hi, this is Avery Jenkins, your 2005 USDGC Distance Champion, and this is your tip of the day. For uh, windy conditions such as today, um, any good store, any good score around par or better will probably be excellent score. Um, to recommend that, I'd say stay in the tailwind side of the basket, which can be hard to do, but you have to consciously make an effort to calculate and throw your shots, your approach shots, as close as possible to the basket. That makes it easier as far as like 10 to 15 footers because they get a little tricky outside 20 in the wind. So uh, just keep it close to the basket, keep it on the tailwind side, and you should come in with a good score. And this is your tip of the day. Hello, this is Billy Crump, Between the Ropes. I'm here with Espen Mukiliard. Espen, where exactly are you from? From Oslo, Norway. Oslo, Norway. And uh, I've seen you personally in the States quite a few times. How many times have you made the trip over to the States? This is my fifth time. Your fifth Coming time? Over, yeah. And are you the veteran, or uh, is there, are there European yeah. players that have come more frequent? Yeah, I would say the Kelsen brothers has been here a lot. So the Swedes are pretty more in front of that in, compared to the Norwegian guys. So, yeah. So uh, what exactly does it take for you to prepare to come over here financially and, you know, just uh, you're going to be over here. It's more than just going to a tournament for the weekend. Yeah, well, I have to work a lot, of course. Uh, I'm an electrician, my profession, so work a lot. So, yeah, that's how I save the money. So you basically, uh, you'll work the overtime so that you've got the extra money for the plane ticket and the hotel room? For sure. And uh, how about your locals, uh, the guys that really want to come to the States? Do they look to you uh, for advice or information on, on how to get over here? Yeah, but uh, this golf in Norway, Norway now is pretty much at the starting point. Uh, so we have to give people, let's say, four or five years, and Norwegian people will start traveling even more. Well, now you're sponsored by Innova, and you've been sponsored by Innova for, Innova for a number of years. Uh, are we mainstream in Europe? Yeah. I would say 80% of the market in Norway is Innova. So, and uh, what advice do you have to the European players that want to come over and want to be a part of something like this? Uh, you know, what's the best way to get over here? Uh, just save the money and go. It's worth it, of course. Uh, it's always fun to be here. Uh, I love the guys playing the sport. Uh, it's like a big family. Um, yeah, just come over. Well, we're glad you're here, and uh, we'll try to check up with you later in the week and see how you're playing. What are your expectations this week? Uh, top 20. Top 20? Uh, yeah. What's your best finish over here? I think it's 40-something. Uh, uh, but I haven't been playing really good at it yet because you need a lot of experience to play this kind of course. Uh, so you have to learn to hold back, and I'm not used to that. But this year, hopefully, I've learned. So you're, you're, you're going to try a different strategy this year? Yeah, safe and hold back. Uh, mid-range instead of a driver. Well, we'll talk to you later in the week, and we'll see how that's going. That's Espen Mukiliard. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
Hi, this is Nate Doss, 2005 Disc Golf World Champion, and this is your tip of the day. Let's say you just made the lead group, and you're so nervous you can't even hold anything down. The only thing that you can do is to focus and use what you've practiced to stay confident and calm out on the course. If you use what you've practiced, you'll not only feel more confident in that lead group, but I guarantee you'll be successful. Keep up the practice and you'll be there someday. We're between the ropes with Kim Scott Wood from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Kim, you uh, had a little easier uh, time getting in this year. Last year you qualified on Monday, a lot of stress, a, a lot of drama going down to the end. And uh, not only did you qualify early this year, but you're on the second card today. That's right. Uh, tell me what that feels like. It feels great to, uh, <clears throat> to, to, to go from last year to this year to have to qualify and, and all the stress that it, it, it came with of qualifying. And then when I finally did qualify, it was just there was so much on my back just when I came out on, to the first hole and and I was already just so stressed out this this year just relaxed and played a tournament on Sunday in Toronto and drove down and it just felt great to come out and just not have to worry about a thing and just just played my game and and uh, I did well Oh, you certainly did. Uh, the wind's going to be up today, and you're uh, you're in some great company out there. Uh, how do you think you're going to do today? I'm going to shoot the best I can. Um, you know, do what I did yesterday and just keep between the ropes. Uh, no pun intended. And uh, and just you know, play my game, make the putts, and and we'll see what I do. That's Kim Scott Wood, one of the young studs coming, and that's between the ropes. Hello. I'm two-time world champ and two-time U.S. champ Barry Schultz, and I'm going to give you your tip of the day. What a lot of us golfers on tour end up calling this shot is the patent pending because there are several of us that are very good at it and nobody wants to lay claim to it, so I'm going to teach you the patent pending. And what we mean by that is a stretched out shot where your mini is behind you and you're stretching out to get, avoid a bush or a tree. And I see a lot of rookies or a lot of amateur players stepping up. If I'm throwing the direction behind me and my disc is right here behind me as well, a lot of the amateurs will step out like this and throw this way with their left foot back. We don't want that. That fights your body. We want your right foot forward so that we can have the freedom of movement with our upper body. And I think that there's two main, main keys to throwing that shot, and that is your balance. Make sure your feet are set. Make sure you have a good base. Make sure you have a stance that you like and are comfortable with. And of course, make sure you're legal, that your, your foot is not in front of your lie behind you. And then the second most important part is turning your upper body. What I like to say is just turning your shoulders. If you don't turn your shoulders like you do on your normal shot, then you're not going to be able to pull off this shot as well. So you have to make sure when you're throwing the shot that you turn the shoulders just like you do on every other shot. Practice your balance, practice turning your shoulders, and you'll get good at that patent pending shot. That's your tip of the day, and I'm Barry Schultz.